now i'm going to copy paste a few a few lines here just to uh, save some time uh, don't worry i have uploaded this entire project in a git repository and i have provided a link in the description so you can uh, download this uh, configuration file uh, you don't need to do the entire typing now uh, let me go through each and every configuration here so the first one is a uh, data source url uh, you have to specify your jdbc url now uh, if you are using any uh, another database like oracle or postgres uh, your uh, url might be slightly different uh, so since i'm using uh, embedded database uh, i'm kind of using a file repository here uh, so based on your uh, database this configuration file might change a little bit now uh, so i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna queue my folder as uh, let's say um, spring demo something like that so i have configured my embedded database to this folder which is on a temp location via our help on spring demo and, and the second thing is that username and password so these are pretty straightforward configuration and you have your uh, dial site information and the driver and the reason why i have commented these uh, four line four uh, lines because the spring boot by default it will do some uh, automatic configuration so username and password are a few of that so by default it will try to use sca username and an uh, empty password uh, so that's the default username for H2 database. So Spring Boot also will try to configure that for us by default. And if you want to change that, you can uh, uncomment this line and you can uh, specify your username and password for your respective database. So that's all about uh, data source information. Now you can run this application. Uh, so it's, it's good enough for uh, starting. Now I'm going to add a few other configurations so if you see clearly so this is hibernate related configurations so uh, if you want to add any hibernate related configuration all you have to do is you just have to append spring dot uh, sorry not append uh, you just have to prefix uh, spring dot jpa and your uh, actual hibernate configuration so that's how you add hibernate properties in a uh, spring data jpa now uh, if you're talking about uh, this particular uh, configuration now what i'm doing is that ddl auto uh, i'm specifying mechanism as update and if you don't enable this one and if you're using embedded database what happens is that whenever you try to start your application uh, spring will try to spring sorry sorry for the background spring will try to uh, recreate your database instead of uh, you know updating your database so if you want to override that behavior you have to use update now whenever you are uh, restarting your application spring will uh, spring won't uh, create a new database so uh, so that's the purpose of this configuration so these configurations are related to debug uh, like for example uh, you can see which query is triggered by a jpa whenever you are running an operation and you can uh, pretty format that SQL in your logs. So these configurations are very much useful when you are uh, starting with your JPA journey. So these are all the basic configurations which you might need. Now, uh, as I said, I have uh, uploaded this entire project in Git. Uh, you can directly download from that. Now uh, I'm going to run my uh, application and I'm going to show you how to. Uh, I'm going to show you how to view H2 console. Let me run this. Now, if you go to your uh, URL, you might not see anything because uh, we haven't configured any views or controllers. Uh, but that's okay. Now, the thing which we are interested in is H2 console. Now, uh, what you can do is that you can go to your uh, address and you can say H2 hyphen console. So after that, it will uh, ask for your uh, uh, URL username and password. Now the JDBC URL uh, should be the same as what you have given in your configuration file. Uh, I gave temp via our help on spring demo. So you have to configure same directory here. Uh, so after that you have to give your username and password. Uh, but I'm using the default one. So uh, I can directly connect. So I'm going to say test connect. Now uh, let me connect it to my database. Currently it's empty if you go to users and SA. So this is the schema which we are using. Uh, so it will be empty. We don't have anything uh, related to our project. Now, but don't worry in our upcoming video. So we'll be using our spring repositories to push data to uh, database.
so that's all about the basic configuration and in our upcoming videos uh, i'm going to show you how to do the crud operations uh, basic crud operations so thanks for viewing guys uh, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe us and stay tuned